What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, Path to Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate in the U.S. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so very much. I do, I do, I do. Who? Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. Um, yeah. Okay, so I received a download. I might do some just in 96. I thought about doing them because I have the time to do them. It's 4.45 p.m., 11, 19, 2022, so I might. Um, but I received this channeling, so I'm going to put it out. I hope everybody's doing well. This is not a good one, so trigger warning. If you get triggered, please click off, okay? Okay, so the channeling I received was a rape kit. I had to look it up because I've heard of it before um, in the workspace, but I've never actually been around somebody that has had a rape kit performed on them. But um, a rape kit I heard is about to be um, is about to be um, performed on one a teenage um, masculine energy, one a teenage femme energy. I heard suspected sexual abuse, um, suspected sexual assault. And I heard the results are going to be shocking. I heard uh, for one, it's going to be uh, the father was involved. Um, oh, I heard DNA evidence. I heard DNA evidence. Results are going to be shocking. DNA evidence. I heard DNA evidence. And then I heard um, father involved for one, grandfather involved for one, and there was another one. Uh, oh, an aunt. A father involved for one, a grandfather involved for one, and an aunt involved for one. So some kind of suspected sexual assault of a child. So a minor, a teenager. Um, under 18. Under 18. Under 18 is what I just heard. So under 18. So a minor. Under 18. I suspected a minor, but that's confirmation. Under 18. So one of a teenage under 18 masculine energy, one teenage under teenager under 18 femme energy, the results are going to be shocking. Some kind of DNA evidence is going to come back. I heard one, it sounds like DNA of a father in the child, I'm presuming. Um, I'm going to read the rape kit definition. I heard father, grandfather, and aunt. So I think a father, grandfather, and aunt sexually assaulted a teenage masculine energy or a teenage feminine energy or maybe both. I heard father, grandfather, aunt. Confirmation for my key. That's highly intuitive one, by the way. Oh, man. So a rape kit or rape kit test kit is a package of items used by medical personnel for gathering and preserving physical evidence following an allega allegation of sexual assault. I have worked around other RNs before that have um, performed rape test, uh, rape test kits on um, individuals. I have never done this. I have never done this, but I have worked around other RNs that have. Um, they uh, work for the crisis hotline. And I'll give the number out of that at the end if anybody needs it. Because this is for at least somebody, one person out there in the universe. Um, so a rape kit or rape test kit is a package of items used by medical personnel for gathering and preserving physical evidence following an allegation of sexual assault. The evidence collected from the victim can aid the criminal rape investigation and the prosecu prosecution of suspected assailant. DNA evidence can have tremendous utility for sexual assault investigations and prosecution by identifying offenders, revealing serial offenders through DNA matches across cases, and exonerating those who have been wrongfully accused. Um, the kit was developed in Chicago. Okay, so, yeah, so it's a kit that's used on the um, assault, a suspected assault victim to collect DNA evidence, basically. And it's used to prosecute the real offenders. And I think in this aspect, the real offenders is an aunt of these teenagers, a father of these teenagers. I'm assuming a biological. I, I don't know if it's biological or adopted or what have you, what have you. And grandfather. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. I heard the results are going to be shocking. So I think it's about to connect these pedophiles, basically, sexually to these teenagers. Um. For one, it's a community member, a former community member. 
of one of the teenagers. For one, it's a former community member of one of the teenagers. So for one, it sounds like the DNA evidence is a former community member of one of the teenagers. A former community member. So not a current community member of one of the teenagers, but former. The masculine energy. The masculine energy. The masculine energy. So you, oh my God. There's two teenagers in here. It sounds like they haven't, um, doesn't sound like this has happened yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming. So you plug it in, how it resonates, suspected sexual assault of teenagers, which is terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. But heavy pedophile energy in here of at least three of these people. Uh, well, the former community member, I'm assuming they're adult too. They are an adult. Okay, they are an adult. Yeah, pedophile energy. They're an adult. And this isn't just molestation. This is more. This is terrible. This is terrible. All right. Spirit messages here look like this. Purification. This rape kit is going to deliver good DNA evidence. Proof. This rape kit is going to deliver good DNA evidence. Proof. So this rape kit is going to deliver good uh, DNA evidence. Proof. I heard take it reversed. So this, um, the rape kit that's going to be performed on either the teenager, masculine teenager, or the femme teenager, uh, minors is going to provide good DNA evidence proof, proof of sexual assault, I'm presuming. We have ancient healing wisdom, ancestors card, purification, which is lies, purifying lies, and synergy reverse, I heard take it reverse, no balance in the universe with somebody sexually assaulting teenagers, apparently. This is terrible. Ancient Healing Wisdom, Ancestors card. Someone's ancestors is urging them to call in and make an official report. They know one of these teenagers was right. They're about to do so. Okay, so someone's ancestors is um, giving them downloads basically to call in and report one of these teenagers um, that was raped. Um, I heard they know they were, and the, their ancestors, the downloads from the ancestors in the spiritual realm is urging them to call in and make an official report. So for some, one of you guys, I feel you might be the person, your ancestors are giving, your, giving you downloads, you personal downloads, to urge you to call in and make an official report on this because you know one of these teenagers is raped. Whoever these minor teenagers are, whether it's a femme teenager or a masculine teenager. So your ancestors are giving you downloads. Uh, whoever you are, person. Uh, I feel you might watch my channel or you might, somebody might show you this video or you might come across it. How that resonates and applies. But you, if this resonates for you, you are getting your own downloads from your ancestors and your spiritual team to call in because you know one of these teenagers was right. For some, it might, you might know both of them were. For some, you might know one was. We have a masculine and femme teenager in here. So, ancestor downloads. And one of these people that raped one of these people, they are getting attacked by the spiritual realm because of what they've done. After all this evidence comes to light, they will be very heavily reprimanded, very heavily. Prison and mental health institutionalism. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Well, they should. I heard prison and mental health institutionalism. Okay, so I heard uh, one of these people did rape these people, uh, these kids. One did, 
and they're getting attacked by their spiritual team. So they're getting attacked by a spiritual realm because they shouldn't have done what they did. Um, so they're, they're getting attacked by a spiritual realm, but it's because they did a terrible thing. Um, that's forcing, that's not free will. That's forceful energy. That's like implanting a hidden voyeur camera in somebody's house to creepily voyeur somebody. That's forceful energy. That's breaking free will. When you rape somebody, when you kill somebody, or you implant a hidden voyeur device in somebody's house against free will. b needs to hear that. But I heard basically the one getting attacked by a spiritual realm, whether it's the um, aunt, the father, the grandfather, or the former community member, um, I heard once they get caught, so I think get caught from the DNA evidence of the rape kit examination. Um, I heard they will, um, they will be, they will, prison. Prison will be down the line. I'm assuming, obviously, through many series of chain events, they have to go the right policies and procedures. I'm assuming this person will probably go to jail first, get charged, blase, blase, prison, and mental health institutionalism. So mental health institutionalism and prison. Yeah, they need it. They definitely need it. That's sick. Purification. These people have been lying and lying and lying and lying, but the lies are about to backfire on them. Too many highly intuitive people know what's going on, and it's about to backfire on them. Okay, I heard these people, so the father, the grandfather, the aunt, or the former community member of the masculine teenage child, um, I heard they, um, they have been lying. So, purification reversed. They don't want to tell the truth. They've been lying, 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 lying to themselves, I'm sure, other people, everybody. Because they want to repress the fact of what they've done, but the thing is, is they have done it. They did the crime. They should do the time in freaking prison, away from people and children. And that's just the truth. Um, but I heard basically, um, so they want to repress it. They want to suppress it and repress it. But basically, um, it's about to backfire on them because I heard there's too many highly intuitive people. Too many highly intuitive people around them. And I heard it's basically, and I think they're picking up on the fact these children have been raped. Um, and it's about to create a series of chain events to expose them. They're about to be hugely exposed. Hugely exposed. So purification, lies coming out. About to expose the liar. Liar, pedophile, rapers. And I'm just being serious. Uh, because there's too many highly intuitive people around them. And thank goodness for that. I think light side highly intuitive people. And kudos if you're the light side highly intuitive person about to expose these assholes. Because energies can be reversed. So you could be a light side highly intuitive person about to expose these assholes. I hope you're not the rapers, but I don't know. I pull a negative and positive people in here. So hopefully you're a light side highly intuitive person about to expose these people, I hope. But too many light side highly intuitive people around them about to be exposed. Purification of the lies, exposure. Um, as much as they want to suppress it and repress it, they still did it. And that is scarring kids' psyches, if anybody needs to hear that. And scarring their bodies. That's sick. Synergy reversed. This is an extremely imbalanced situation in the universe, but through many series of chain events, it's about to be resolved. This is an extremely imbalanced situation in the universe, but through many series of chain events, it's about to be resolved. So... I think it's about to be resolved because people are about to pick on uh, on the fact they have raped these kids um, and suspected sexual assault. Um, and somehow a rape kit is going to come into play in this, which is going to provide the rape kit, apparently, according to the Google definition, provides um, evidence, DNA evidence. And I heard, I heard shocking DNA evidence, and I heard four, four, four pedos in there. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. These people are about to ever regret what they've done. Ever regret it. For one of them, their family member is about to report them. For one, it's a community member. Okay, I heard these people are about to ever regret what they've done, uh, ever regret it. For one of, for whoever these people are, there's at least four pedos in here. I heard um, for one of them, their own, their family member's going to report them. And I don't care if I'm blowed with somebody. If you rape somebody, I'm reporting your ass. And that's just the truth. 
I don't care. I don't care for blood. No, it's how you treat people in the universe. And that's just the truth. I don't care for family or not. If you're a rapist, you're a rapist. And that's just the truth. So um, that's how I feel about it. So I heard um, for one, one of these people, there are family members about to report them. And for one, it is a community member. So for one, it's a family member about to report them. For one, it's a community member. For some of you guys, I feel you are the highly intuitive light side individuals, whether you're the family member of these pedos or you are a community member of these pedos about to report them. So kudos to whoever is about to report them, family member, highly intuitive, uh, light side family member, or highly intuitive, light side community member. And I feel, and I didn't hear this just intuitively, I feel community member, you could be a regular citizen, or you could be a mandatory reporter. Um, and mandatory reporter is like a counselor, a nurse, a uh, um, uh, medical professional, a doctor, law enforcement, something like that, okay? For anybody who doesn't know what a mandatory reporter is, okay? Teacher, teacher, teachers are mandatory reporters too. Kudos to you. But you don't have to be. You don't have to be. You can be a regular citizen, whether you're a family member or a, um, a mandatory reporter or not, whether you're a family member or a community member, okay? But hats off to you guys about to report their asses because um, it is an extremely invalid situation in the universe. And these kids need help. They need help is what they need. Um. That's terrible. Nobody should be raped. Nobody. Especially not children. And I heard both these people are minors. So they're under 18 of age, years of age. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Once this situation plays out and the rape kit is done and the evidence is collected through many series of shame events one of these parents will place a lawsuit okay well that's good if it was me and it was one of my kids you better believe i would and that's just the truth so i heard um through this process once everything gets said and done um does sound like they've had the rape kit done yet etc etc none of this has played out yet but it sounds like once it does um, one of the parents of one of these children or both of these children or however that resonates and applies, I heard they will file a lawsuit against whoever, I guess, was a perpetrator here in this mix. Whether it's a father, grandfather, aunt, or a um, former community member. Um, kudos to you, parent. Going to file a lawsuit. Absolutely, man. If you were the one that's going to resonate in the situation because this is a lot of heartbreak and terrible energy no child should be raped nobody should be raped period point blank bar none period oh let me give the number to the crisis hotline real quick and then i'm gonna close it okay oh well, i thought i had it hold on a second okay national sexual assault hotline available 24 hours 1-800-656-4673. I will repeat it if anybody needs it. National Sexual Assault Hotline. 1-800-656-4673. That is the National Sexual Assault Hotline. It is confidential and 24-7 support. It's anti-sexual violence organization. It's a uh, rape, abuse, and incest national um, hotline. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.